so away on the other side of the Thames. Here's how a big crowd are spending their Saturday afternoon for a match that will go a long way towards deciding whether Fulham or Leicester City make the jump into the first division next season. Fulham are able to keep the side that scored an important victory over Barnsley in midweek that gave them a valuable bit of breathing space in third place, a side that's taken seven points out of their last nine on this critical run in for the championship when it's so valuable to field a settled team. Leicester City have had the luxury of an injury-free run as well. They're able to name an unchanged side for the ninth successive game. And that so Leicester City get us away in shirts of blue, attacking the goal to our left, a match that their manager, Gordon Milne, has said, we have to win it to stay firmly in the hunt for promotion. And Fulham, for their part, know that a victory today, followed possibly by one that might be needed against Carlisle in their last home game, would be enough to see them in the first division. So the attitude should be positive and the afternoon should be entertaining. And certainly both sides in good form as Linex now takes it up for Leicester City. Unbeaten in ten. Fulham, who have lost only one of their last six. Tie, and in its sudden death importance, it almost is a cup tie. Bobby Smith then with the free kick. Good to see that sort of crowd at Craven Cottage. Roger Brown needed to win that in the air, but didn't manage it. And Lineker, wow, that was born of skill and confidence. And now Lineker. The ball coming off Tony Gale, comes to Wilson. And a brilliant save by Peyton. Played in well here by Lineker. And it just deflected off Gale, in fact. Wilson picked it up, and there would have just curled in. So it's Ian Wilson with 20 minutes of the game gone with the corner for Leicester City. A deep one towards John O'Neill, gets there, and another good save. That time from Jerry Daly by Jerry Payton. They're halfway through the first half, which has really got an edge about it, but as yet, no goals. with it towards Roger Brown climbing in there and beating Alan Smith whose job it was to come back and challenge the big number five and Roger Brown has scored five goals this season from this sort of position from this sort of situation didn't really get above that Smith to Lenica Wilson waiting in the middle who's made a lot of strides that must go in joy, you know, somehow uh, Lock it was who got it away, but there was a terrible moment of slackness in that Fulham defence as the ball whistled across the six-yard area. Davis laying it for Lewington, and once or twice they've really played with fire, but now they can see what Leicester made of in defence possibly as Lock plays it for Houghton. And Leicester quite comfortably getting the ball back to the applause of their fans behind Mark Wallington's goal. Certainly a curious moment a moment ago when uh, Fulham allowed that ball to go right across the six-yard area before it was cleared by Kevin Locke. Neither side has really been able to settle into a relaxed rhythm. And here's Davis. Oof. It has to be a foul by McDonald. And it has to be a free kick. So, Gale with the free kick. Malcolm McDonald. You probably recognise Terry Mancini alongside him, who's looking after the youth team here. Tony, played on for Davis. The flag is up for offside. Well, the jubilation, as they say, will be short lived. <laughs> and I think he knew it. The flag was up. Moments he got possession there. Mind you, it was a marvellous piece of finishing, and it's the sight Fulham fans wanted to see. Smith and Lineker, and now Wilson. And he scored for Leicester. Now for 
Malcolm McDonald. Gale. Good control on the ground. But now, can he find the pass? He can. He gets it to Lewington. Stumbled. Now Wilson. And gets it back again. Off the top of the crossbar. Houghton playing it in. And Linux will get it away. Hopkins with the header this time. Lock. 20 minutes left. Fulham needing a goal. Davis got a shove in the back there, and in fact the referee just have a quick look at the linesman. And he didn't react either. Gale again, he's got to react for that one though. A foul by Daly, a free kick to Fulham. Roger Brown, he almost got there with his head. Even six inches further on there, and Brown would have headed that one powerfully, I think. Beyond Wallington, just look how close he was. He's really powering in there. Smith playing it in. Roger Brown getting up, getting it away. And now here's Halpern. Comes off Linux. Now finds a Driscoll. Oh, that fell to one foot and then to another. Oh! And the header was wide. Well, Dean Coney, um, slightly better contact there, and that had to be an equaliser with the corner. Tried to get it to Gale. Roger Brown tried an overhead. Oh! And nodded off the line. Bobby Smith. A calm backward header to his goalkeeper that time. Final whistle. Three precious points for Leicester City that really opens up the promotion race again now. Delight from all the Leicester City fans that goal by Ian Wilson in the second half. And it's provided Leicester City with a victory that extends their unbeaten run now to 11 games. Final score, it's Fulham nil, Leicester 1.